Hi friends! Some of you are soap makers, I assume, and you may like to see some of my experimental things that I am doing outside of the soap I'm selling. It's kind of fun to have a soap lab day, which I did this week, and that is where you get to play around and test it out yourself and see how it goes before you put something out there on the market. So um, here is me having fun. I went and picked um, dandelion leaves and washed them and then I put them in the oven on parchment paper to get them good and dry because I don't have a dehydrator. I also got some petals and I made a tea out of some petals and other petals I put in the oven to dry as well which just made them poof. So that was funny, funny experiment and I think that if I want to use some dandelions in another um, soap I might want to pick some more, wash them good, and dry them less so they don't puff like that. <laughs> and just let them be pretty and yellow. Um, and uh, actually, let me show you. I found out today. I know that you can eat this, um, like lettuce and stuff, but my friend was over and she just went in there and pinched a piece. And I thought I'd try it too. Mm. I was like, hmm, that's actually good. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's sort of like when people dry ch kale and they make kale chips. I think it was sort of, it's sort of like that actually. I almost wish I salted it before I dried it. Um, but I made, mm, the aftertaste is interesting. It's different. It's robust, I guess. Um, but I, I, I did this um, for uh, powdering it or just getting it down to a crumble so it can get in soap. Now. I already did some of this for a soap I'm about to show you that I already made and I also put um, some some dandelions that were I think I dried them and put them in the um, in the uh, coffee grinder to make them you know break down I also did that with some lavender so let me show you what I made from it so this is my what I call just a soap, well, it's, it was my soap lab day. That's what I called it. Um, I just had fun. And I mixed ingredients that were more natural. And this is for family and friends only at this time. Until I decide if it's a good enough product for the market. And I believe it could be. I just used this little, you know, it's just a little one that you can get maybe at the dollar store. In my case, I got this at the dollar store. I don't know if they still have stuff like this. They probably do. And I lined it with some plastic and some um, parchment paper. This smells so good. We have in it the lavender and the dandelion leaves and the dandelion petals. Oh man, it smells good. The reason it smells so good is I put only essential oil in it, just a mix of things. And it is lovely. It's mostly lavender and has tea tree oil, has lemon oil, it has, you know, lemon essential oil. It has, um, oh, what else? A little bit of orange. Not too much, but I would have put more. I just I was just emptying the little drops out of a bottle. And it's just a good little experiment. Um, so I'm just going to cut this. Let's see. Interesting. I remember I divided the batter in two parts. Let's see, can you see this okay? Hold it down there, okay. I divided the batter in two parts and I could see that this is the greener part down here and this is a little loop of it is like more, I don't know if you could say purple or gray. One end of it I think was the dandelion, all the dandelion petals and leaves and the other end of it was the ground, um, uh, lavender. Then I just took lavender petals and put them on top for interest. It's very pretty and I did a little thing with a spoon. It, it was just fun. Alright, I like it. It is natural and fresh so right now. It's nice. You see, can you see the difference? Can you see? Get, get it right. Can you see that? We have green all around here and the middle is like the brownish sort of that's from 
the purple-ishness of the um, of the lavender. It's very nice. Yep. It still has a very fresh soap smell. It needs to cure, of course. I'm just cutting it now. But it is, um, I think, since my sister-in-law really likes the more natural soaps, um, I don't know if you know this, but my sister-in-law and her husband have a really great YouTube channel uh, called Jordan Michael Tuesday, and Juliana likes the natural soap. So I think I'm going to send them one. And if you haven't checked out their fun kids show, I would definitely check out that YouTube channel, Jordan Michael Tuesday. But she's the one that I definitely know will love the, the natural stuff, and also my other sister-in-law, uh, Susie, she also will love that. So I probably should get them some, some of this to try out for me. Alright, so that's a closer look at it there. Very beautiful. I like it. I think my sister-in-laws are going to like it too. <laughs>